Hello, welcome to round number 18 of the season for the Cup Series. We are here all the way in the United Arab Emirates of Dubai for round number 18 of the season. We flew from Daytona in the U.S. all the way over, so it took a quite a while to get there. They managed to get some practice in, some drive around, get in the field of the track. And now the crowd is here. We are ready for round number 18 here for the Cup Series here. James Qualls is on the pole. Starting second is Jackie Tang. Third is Michael White, who's dead last in points, which is safe to say he's already eliminated from championship contention unless he can get some wins in the belt. But as far as making the top ten, very unlikely. Fourth, this is points leader Michael Norman. Fifth is Joshua Balkin. Sixth is Stephen Pollard. The third. Seventh is Just Finesto. He needs a good, good run. Same for another driver we'll mention in a minute. But he, like, needs a good run. He's tied with the other driver we'll mention. Eighth is Sky Commons. Uh, ninth is Just Finesto. And running at the top ten... Or actually, 7th is Onesto, Ninth is Sky Commons, or Mesa Powers, rather. Wow, I'm failing because the thing is fucking me up. And right in the top 10 is Michael Walton. He's the other driver who's already eliminated there from that. But here's the rest of your starting lineup before I fail even more. Del Pote, the other driver who really needs a good run in order to keep himself alive. And on the final row is Charles Belding and DJ Kurtz of Harris Stewart Haas Racing teammates. So our previous race winner, very, very surprised a lot of people. He's definitely going to be the second person making the chase. Kyle Keith in the target car. Man, I'll tell you something. Second time this season that car is going to go in the chase. Uh, first this season with Kyle Keith. I reckon that from the Larson... Larson uh, schemes and all that. So we head back up to the front. They gave the command. And we're going to let them roll off. And yeah. And we're going to go to the nun camera. Let them all go on by. Clint Spillman, who won last season, is going to be starting 22nd. Oh, someone did not get going. And who was that? Oh, actually, two cars. There's Dally, and I don't know who that is there. Oh, that's Qualls, the pole sitter. Something broke on his car. But I think the green is out. Qualls has got a major issue. New pole sitter's dead last in points, Michael White. Are you serious? And this is where it's going to get crazy. Three, four, wide. Whoa, Michael Norman went way wide off that track. And there he is. He's going to come back on. But, wow, he's going to lose a ton of ground right there. And after all that, Joshua Balk in the 91 is the leader. But look at this. Two guys who really need good runs. Michael White, who's dead last in points. And the 62, Joseph Vanesto, who's actually tied for 39th in the points. They really, really need good runs. So, good job of these guys to get good qualifying efforts. Um, I noticed Pote, he started uh, midfield-ish. Uh, where, where is he at right now? There he is. Actually, he's right there, so that's pretty good for Pote. He's on the outside line, though. He's not in a good line where he wants to be, but pretty soon he'll be. This track is very, very flat, so if you watch the outback race, you'll probably know what to expect. But there will be a pit stop or two in this race. I think there'll be two pit stops. Uh, you never know what can happen, though. So we're getting ready to complete lap number one, but wow. And the 20 had a puncture issue. Balkan, though. There's Dally. Running the Wrangler scheme. Tough break for him. There's lap number one in the books. Let's see. Is anyone going to make a move? Top four. Oh, Jackie Tang. Fifth in points. He's going to make a move for a position. He's going to get it. Checking through, though. Everything is looking all right. All right, dude. And holy crap, DJ Curtis, who started dead last, he's already working his way up. He was last time scored 33rd, but he's, he's moving some spots up, though. This is that number four Outback Steakhouse uh, Chevrolet. He's got Dutta on the outside and the inside. Or actually, yeah. Well, Dutta and uh, Bernique in the sandwich. And one car really behind is Seth Cole. There's Daly right there. Joseph Ernesto, though. 
All over the bumper of Joshua Balkan. This is technically Onesto's home track because there's none in Italy for that for the um, manufacturer, but his home track technically is Chicagoland. But home track for that manufacturer, he's going for the lead. Great qualifying effort for the Maserati. Can they finally get a win after such a horrible season? And get this Maserati is going to lead another lap this season. But that's not good because he's on that outside line. This is where Balkan is really going to get a good run in, especially these two corners in that one turn. And Balkan... Can you get that lead? Oh, White slipped up a little bit. Tang, who's fifth in points, he moved to third. And Jeff James is going to move into the fourth position. A pair of uh, few people that actually, uh, who were, uh, made their debuts at Auxilla, Jeff James and Michael White. Uh, the other one was Belding, and the other one was the, uh, if my memory comes to me correctly, it was the, uh, who was it? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, oh, Greg Jones, that was who it was. Well, speaking of which, let's also find Greg Jones, our uh, Indy winner. 39th, he's not running very well at all. Trip Dunn in the back, Alex May. Dylan Poteet's the highest rank for Tweenix. And there's Kyle Keith, our three-time winner, our second three-time winner this season. Both him and Mason Powers, car number 41 and car number 42, they really just shocked the world. They really did. And uh, they made really big statements. How about our first three-time winner of the season, Mason Powers, in our earliest? He's up, he's up in the fifth position, and is that Tom and Jerry Chevrolet. So watch out for that 41, folks. If he gets the four wins, then he's, well, no matter what, he's a championship contender. But, man, he'll really make statements if he gets a fourth win. Just Vanessa trying to find a way to make a move on the Mountain Dew Code Red Ford. He can't make a move yet for that lead. Looks like McCurry, the Audi, got a good run off... Uh, Michael Norman for position. It's for the twelfth. That was for the eleventh position, actually. And Paul the third. So actually, all three international manufacturers are running very well. You got the Maserati in second. You got at the line at the time. Paul the third was in seventh. And McCurry is now up into the eleventh position. So great run for all three international manufacturers. Michael White now trying to get underneath Jeff James. He's got it. Now he's trying to go underneath Jackie Tank position. A battle for the lead was emerging, but then that went away. Michael White, though, trying to get that third position. This is where it turn comes, and it really going to help that seven car right there. And it looks like he's going to get it, because um, we're going to get ready to go in a big, sharp right corner here. This is where it's really going to help that inside line. Oh, we had a skin mark on the back. Hmm. That's not good that we have a, a wreck in the back. Right by the start-finish line. We'll take a look. Greg Jones looks like he was involved. Charles Sanford, Ian Dutta. He's actually heading for pit road right now. Dutta's not having a good run. Looks like it was those two, though. Troubles for car number 32 and car number 34. And Greg Jones also come down car number 22. Hmm. We'll take a look eventually at the end of the race when our... Uh, Happened to our wrecks and all that, but tough break there. There's a winner from this track a season ago. Clint Spillman, currently in the 20th position. He started 22nd. He's only uh, gained two spots since the start of the race. It's only been five laps in, but give Spillman time, though. When he also won that race last season, it was also by pit strategy. So you don't know what that 10 car could bring to the table when it comes to the pitting. He does have good road course experience, so let's spend the underestimate understatement for the 10. So don't underestimate him on these road courses. And besides, we'll go to one more this season, and that'll be at Thornton's. That'll be quite fun journey there. Back up to the front, though. Jeff Jane's under fire from Mason Powers in the 41. From Stuart Haas. Safe to say he's been the best Stuart Haas racing car. Stuart Haas actually has won uh, five races this season. Uh, they won three with Mason Powers, one with Belding, and then one with Clint Spillen. Only driver not to win was DJ Curtis. But back and Onesto got the lead from Balkan. Ooh, and that was close right there. Looks like one of them, I believe, is retired out of the race. And I believe that was the Greg Jones. Nope, he actually just came out of pit road right there. But he is a lap down. That is not good for the 22. Checking that through the back again. Those are on lap 6 of 18. Third of the race complete. Spillman's still under fire from Chris Washer. He's trying to hang on for that position. 
David Rivera trying to go underneath Devin Becker for position. Dylan Poteen working all over Dylan Young about all the Dylans. Poteen, the Caterpillar, Turner Scott, uh, 31 car against the Miller Light, Miller Genuine Jeff Ford Fusion. But back up there. Look at Kyle Miller that I've noticed there. He's been getting some consistency going in. Last scored in the ninth position. He's running very well for that farmland forward fusion. He's been if he keeps the consistency up, he'll make the chase. So watch out for that 43 if he, if his consistency stays. Keith Batson running up the top ten right now. Anthony McCurry's all over that back bumper of that 46 car. He's been he's been getting some good runs as of late as well. Good run for the House of Polar forward. So good run for him. And actually, the top two have broken away by at least a second from third. But, or McCurry trying to go underneath the 46 for that position. Oh, one car really went wide. That was Pollard the third. And he's going to lose some positions. Michael Walton there in the 99 getting a good run. We see Balkan and Onesto. I really like up to Onesto paying that car for Balkan. That's pretty funny, but... um. Still, it's been a very interesting race so far. We've only had one wreck. And it, oh, Charles Belling's in the pits. Something must have been uh, something wrong for the 14. I heard that it's a regularly scheduled. There's Austin Talley. Now, here's the thing, though. Talley, who's got two wins this season, fell outside the top 10. And if he, well, undoubtedly, he's going to make the chase. But I think for a lot of people that are trying to get in this wild card battle, they need him to get into the top 10. If he if if they don't, then it's going to be bad for the people that are content for the wild card, especially the ones with one win this season. And, you know, especially if your name Clint Spillman. Others, and we got pit stops going on. Bunch of drivers coming down, including the leaders. And the first one staying out is Anthony McCurry in the 61. One international manufacturer pits for the lead. The other one's going to take the lead. Devin Becker also staying out. Chris Washer, Trent Dunham, Cody Lamas, Isaiah Bernique, Seth Cole, Ange Navarro, DJ Curtis. So the, those are all the drivers that stayed out. We're going to keep an eye on this pit stop right here. Oh, no spectators. Got, not bad. You can also see who's be coming up from behind. I think it's going to be Onesta. It's going to be the first one out. And indeed, that is going to be the case. Oh, and he got a much better stop. Oh, Michael White got out second. Michael White trying to show he's second out. Oh, but Power's got a good run going off the e exit of pit road. That's going to kill the seventh momentum as well as Joshua Balkin. Greg Jones, you see right there, he's penned toward that pit road area there. Actually, Sanford's right there. I don't think they'll approach Sanford. But uh, here comes McCurry. And I think it's safe to say... He's going to be making the pit stop, and indeed he is. We are approaching halfway when they hit the stripe. So, McCurry in, Becker, Washer, Dunham, Lamas, Bernique, Cole, Navarro, and Curtis are all in. Greg Jones in 41st. I believe he's uh, lapped down, right? Yeah, he is lapped down. Dally is not. And Greg Jones, he is staying out, obviously, but there's your leader, from the pits, Onesto. It looks like uh, McCurry, he's not going to be uh, the leader after this. Because here comes Onesto. But watch out for powers. You know, McCurry's out of pit road. There's Onesto. And safe to say, there is your leader, folks. Joseph Onesto, the top-notch designs Maserati for, for top-notch designs racing. Top four, top five ahead of McCurry. Top five. McCurry's in sixth. You got a pair of Aflac cars there in seventh and eighth. Paul your thirds in ninth. And Kyle Miller in tenth. You got a really good pit stop. And look at that. International manufacturers along with Aflac all together. But Onesto's really pulling away. He's actually catching up to uh, Greg Jones on the 22. Guess his damage is actually affecting him a little bit. He's going 160s. He was going 180s. Yeah, at least a 20 mile per hour differential. If I were Jones, I would uh, 
just keep racing out there, even though Onesto's got a much better car, but he's got to move out of the way. Oh, and Onesto, look at trying to be aggressive here. He is trying to get around the 22, shoves him out of the way, and there you go. That's how you do it. Got a little bit held up there, not a lot, but you know what? That's going to help me some powers a little bit in the 41 right there. Looking behind him. Oh, Devin Becker just got turned. Becker in the 79 just got turned. He hit the wall a little bit, and that's going to hurt the 79 right there. It was running so well. He crossed the stripe in 26, but at least the turn's right here, so at least he's going to not get any more bleeding. Oh, he's oh he took the turn wrong right there. Uh-oh, yeah, that 79's hurting right there. Comes up right in front of Kyle Keith right there in the 42. But that was not good. Onesto, though, now Mesa Powers gets around Greg Jones with not much of a problem. Uh, Powers was 2.76 behind at the stripe last time by. We'll see what he is this time. And, oh, Michael White slid there. Oh, he's going to get stuck behind the 22. The luck of the 7 has not been well at all this season. Whether it's been Kyle Sosnowski or whether it's been Michael White. And look at that. And now Joshua Balkin. He's nearly getting blocked right there, but he managed to... Use speed to get around the 22 right there. Definitely car fell back right there. Pollard III trying to get around Michael Walton, but I don't think that's going to help Pollard III a lot. There's Cole Daly right there, not too far back from uh, Nesto. A good run right now for Maserati. Tied for 39th in the points, about 160 back. And this team has just been hurting badly. From the few times they've almost had a chance to win to the times... Oh, Onesto. Whoa, he took that wide right there. To the times where just he can't catch a break. He's the first one to wreck. So this guy really needed good runs. And I think soon they'll be ready to pit one more time in about a few more laps. So, yeah. There you see Becker in that 79, that other Aflac car, this one in a Chevy being. He is really just hurting right there. Actually, Anthony McCurry in the 61. He's this far back. Did he get involved in a wreck? Uh, let's, let's check that out. Let's check that out right now. He was... I want to see real quickly. Did he get like taken out? Oh, he actually broke a cylinder, I think. Because that's what's been going on. This guy's been slow. And McCurry's in the end of pit road now. Something is wrong with the Rolex Audi. And that is not going good for McCurry right there. That is not what he needed. Greg Jones still in pit road. Yes, I'm broke in the 61. He was in the top 10 at a point. Pit stop really hurted him. Mason Powers, though, is actually getting caught by Jeff James, Michael White, and Joshua Balkin. But Joe Vanesta, though, is pulling away as a 2.4 second gap uh, from Powers at the line and a second ahead from Jeff James. Now it's all changed because uh, that 33 is actually catch up to that 41. And actually, Chevy's are second, third, and fourth. Miles are already being first. And the best forward is Balkin in the fifth position. Six is the Jetta. 7th is a forward, 8th is a forward, ninth is the best running Toyota right now, and 10th is the Chevy of Belding. And then you got a pair of uh, Hendrick teammates, 11th and 12th. And then you got Toyota, Ford, there's another Ford. I mentioned the Audi. Checking through here though, Seth Cole trying to get underneath Dylan Young for position was all over the back bumper, and now he's trying to make a move, but I don't think that's going to work for Seth right there. Spellman in the 10. Trying to get around Kyle Keith for position. He's going to get it. And he's going to try to go two for one by trying to go underneath the max for position. And that's going to work for the 10, I believe. Nope, it won't. Actually, then again, I'm wrong. It is going to work. Okay. 
Check it through there. Oh, they got around Charles Sampa right there. Actually, Ian Dutta, he's on that turn right there. Okay, so D Onessa's not too far away from Dutta. James Qualls, though, with the early issue, and I think very soon, about ready to inter go for our final pit stop. Oh, my bad. I was trying to hit the up arrow, but I hit the one button instead from somewhere else. But Onessa, though, has been leading a lot of laps, except for two or three laps, but been having a really, really good car. Second through fifth, though, they're really close together. If I were them, I'd work together more instead of passing each other. And now Jeff James trying to go underneath Michael White for position number three. And he's going to get, but this is going to be a good points paying rollout for Michael White and for Michael Walton. They, this is really good runs that they needed badly this season, especially especially for Michael White, who was a, or uh, Michael Walton, rather, who was, um, who started out this season, especially the first race. Ernesto, closing in on Dutta. He's getting closer and closer. Dutta, he's heading into that trouble turn right there that's there. Ernesto is getting closer to that turn. So a lot of eyes to see also when the leaders will pack, but also if, if the leader will catch up to Dutta. Dally's heading down to pit road. I think that's gonna be the sign of uh, that, that that they're gonna pit this time by, but just checking through. Safer's not being much of a problem. And yep, pit stops. Onesto powers James White Balkan. Pollard third, Walton Miller, Tang staying out. He's the so far one staying out. Another car staying out, that's Lamas. Curtis is staying out. That's Isaiah Brutnik that's also staying out. Kyle Keith is staying out. Alex May is staying out. Oh, Demax nearly got turned right there by Navarro heading to pit road. Belding also behind right there, and now he's making a... No, he's not making a pit stop. Oh, because he made a pit stop before. It's great, I believe. Double check, though, to the 14. Yeah, he made a pit stop from before, I believe. Cars are rolling off, though, and... Well, safe to say, Onesto beat out Mesa Powers big time. So May, Keith, Bernique, Curtis, Lamas, and Tang all stay out. Dally made a pit stop earlier. Samper has yet to pit as well as a lap damaged car. And I thought for a moment, too, that they were going to, you know, keep it going throughout the rest of the race because when they first pit, it was lap eight. So, very surprising. So far, though, it's been not bad of a race, not a bore fest. We had a few wrecks, and uh, there's a battle right there. Michael Walton. Uh, Charles Belding, and he's actually, is he a lap down? Oh, they probably haven't updated it, but I think he's up in the pack with them, though. That may have been good strategy for Belding. And now the rest of the, rest of the leaders, they are down. And Onesto, safe to say, undoubtedly, with a quick pit stop that he has, he is going to take back the lead from the field. He officially will the next lap on by. And is Belding, Belding in that top 10, though, or at least the top 5? Scoring a 14. That, yes, they are! Charles Belding with a great stop. He did a lap before. Give credit to that 14 car right there. That was a beautiful stop. Tang being the first one off, he is not going to get him a better of a pit stop as he did before. Trying to hold off Joshua Balkin in the 91. And Kyle Miller, again. Another good, consistent run for the 43. And Austin Talley, he's up there as well. This is going to be good for Talley. This could probably get him back up into the top 10. That's what drivers in the wild card need, to get him into the top 10, so that way they can determine that wild card. No one else has pit, so I think the pit stops are officially over throughout this race. Spillman definitely for sure will definitely not win this race, but he tried, though. That's the best thing you can do for that Jimmy John Chevrolet. Kyle Keith won't be uh, 
getting uh, his fourth win this season. But looking through, though, Curtis had a not bad pit stop somewhat. And, ooh, Miller and Tang at a little close there. And officially at the line, it's Joseph Vanesto. But Mason Powers, he still could get his fifth win of the season. Or, excuse me, yeah, his fourth win. I'm, I'm thinking ahead. His fifth career in our sub victory, but his fourth win of the season also for the Cup Series. Two laps to go. And no lap cars in the way, too. On board the Maserati. You can see Onesto trying to make history, being the first international manufacturer to win in the inner cell. But Curry tried last season, had been close a few times, the closest being JGR, finishing second, or actually he finished uh, third, rather. Probably the third of this season really didn't get much success. He could have had the best at Mossport until he wrecked out. And then he had some close ones. Onesto, his best finish this season was fifth. Or actually sixth, rather. And then... Look where Onesto is at now in Dubai, and no surprise that our international manufacturer was dominating this race. It did not surprise me. Here we go. At the stripe will be the white flag displaying for the top notch designs Maserati of just Vanesto. As long as that car stays in power and that Mason Powers in that 41 does not catch up, he'll be good to go. White flag is out. Onesto for top notch designs racing, making his Cup Series debut. He made his inner cell and Outback Series debut last season at Chicagoland. Surprising enough, did not get a win. Did win in the Outback Series for the All-Star Race this season. Did, despite not winning any races, but clinched himself a top 10 spot in the standings. And look where he's at in the Cup Series. This will guarantee him, if he wins this race, a lockup for next season in the All-Star Race. Onesto, though, driving the wheels off that M Maserati right there. Powers, he's been getting a little bit of ground caught up, but just he doesn't have any draft. Jeff James is in third there. Belding, though. Holy crap, is up to fourth. He was in the 30s at one point, now up to fourth. Fifth is Walden, sixth is White. They're going to get really good runs. Oh, man. Pollard third is actually trying to get himself into the top ten, but I don't think it's going to happen. But here we go. At the stripe is going to be the checker flag. And coming off the final turn, Joseph Ernesto in the top match designs Maserati has made history again. The NRSL, two weeks in a row, history is being made. And off the final turn, Maserati is going to get their first career victory here at Dubai. Ernesto wins it. Second was Powers, third was James, fourth was Belling, fifth Walton, sixth White, seventh Falcon, eighth Miller. Oh, close foul for ninth, I think. Oh, they gave it to uh, Chris Washer instead of Jackie Tang. Barely. Pollard third, 11th, 12th is Austin Talley. That's a good run for him. This is going to boost him up in standings. 13th is Lamas. 14th is Sanford. 15th is Dunham. 16th is Seth Cole. 17th is Batson. 18th is Nick's, or, uh, DJ Hurst, rather. 19th is Nick Smith. And completing top 20 is Anthony Ritchie. Good run for him. He had that run. Isaiah Bernique, though, will end up 21st. Norman, 22nd. Talley, 23rd. Brody Talley, rather. 24th is Rivera's teammate, 25th is Dalio, 26th is Navarro, 27th is Spillman, 28th is May, 29th is Keith, 30th is Shelton, 31st is Poti, 32nd Louvier, 33rd Fisher, 34th Demax, 35th McCurry, 36th Young, 37th Becker, 38th Dutta, 39th Dally, 40th is Samper, who was the last car in the lead lap, and then last car finished race, Greg Jones finished one lap down 41st, and James Qualls had that puncture issue. They now made it official. So let's go take a look at the at the wrecks that happened throughout this race. We found out what happened to Dutta and Sanford and Jones. This is what happened. Ainge Navarro is actually in the cause. He's going to hook Charles Sanford into Ian Dutta. Dutta's going to bounce off the wall with Charles Sanford. And they're going to slide up the track. And Austin Talley's going to avoid it. But Greg Jones, not so lucky. A uh, lucky break was uh, Dutta's teammate Seth Cole barely avoiding that wreck right there. Good miss by the 52. So that was our big incident of the race that we didn't know of. So now let's go check out the Devin Becker incident. It's be a little bit of a tough angle, but you're going to see right there, Charles, or, not Charles Sanford. Uh, oh, McCurry got held up. The 24 Commons just had to check up, and the 79 got clipped right there. 
Becker really didn't get a lot of damage, but it really did affect that 79 Aflac Chevrolet right there. He's running so well, too, in the top 10, but goodness enough, no one hit him. But amazing enough, those were the only two instances that happened in this race, so yeah. So we're going to take you to the, uh, the rest of it there. And let's get you to that uh, winning car right there, because he deserves it, though. History made, though. Joe's Finesse, folks. He's your winner. And we'll share the results one last time, as you can see. I'll let this continue on. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this race, be sure to give it a like. Comment with your thoughts and share. Subscribe, be a part of the inner self. Congrats to Joseph Finesto getting the first international win for Maserati. And history made for the inner cell yet again. Second time this week. That's or, um, two weeks in a row in the Cup Series that has been made. So, so we'll see you guys later to round number 19 at GGR. Till then, goodbye everybody. And we'll see you later. Until then, goodbye, buddy.